So now I'm going to throw a ball off the hump. So I've got the clay centered. Let me make sure it's right in the middle. I'm going to pull up a chunk of clay. I'm going to partition it with my finger a little bit, giving this little edge here. I'm going to press down in the center. It's going to make the inside of the bowl. Make sure it's wet. I'm going to start at the bottom, lift up. That'll be the wall. And then start at the bottom again. Pull up and out at the same time. That'll be the outside of the bowl. I'll clean it up a little bit. On the inside, I'll use my, my rubber rib. Press it out. Get rid of the water on the inside. And then cut it off. Now, cutting it off, some people use string, other people use a wire tool. When I'm throwing off a hump, I like a long darning needle. This is a tool I made. It's got a sponge on one side to clean the water out and then a long needle to cut it off. When you cut it off this way, you have a tendency to get a bottom that's flatter and therefore a lot easier to trim later on. So again, you cone up, open it up, pull it out with your fingers, press the rim, pull it out again, clean up the outside with the, the rib. Again, this is to do less work later on when you're having to trim it. And then the inside with a rib. Doing the inside with a rib also makes it a little bit smoother so that when you're trying to glaze it, you've got less, less work on the inside. You can see how it's smooth. It'll prevent it from being lumpy later on. Again, rib. It's about efficiency, trying to get things done with the least amount of work by doing them at the right stage.